Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends Black Panther from the Sentinel series. So I'll go and look at the front of the package. You can see it says 42 points for articulation. It has the old Marvel Legends sticker in the front. It shows it comes with the right arm of the Sentinel Build-A-Figure from the Sentinel series. And it comes with a 32 page comic book. I'll go along the pack, the clamshell packaging. It shows the rest of the figures in the wave. Along with a little, um, I guess, energy or power stats or skills of Black Panther, along with a little bio of him. And also, what's kind of neat, it shows the little variants of the other figures in the wave. Alright, so I'm going to get this guy opened up and we'll check out Black Panther. Alright, so here's Black Panther out of the package. So it comes with the, the hard to find uh, right arm of the Sentinel, along with the coil. It's all nice and rolled up. And then here's the comic book it comes with, so I'll show the background. I'll take that away. Now it's one thing cool about the Sentinel series is each figure comes with these little Toy Biz um, flight stands. So I'm going to show the 360 of the figure. Alright, so now I'll check out the details. Alright, so looking at Black Panther up close, I think it's got a great... This is a really cool figure, I really like this, but I really like the head sculpt, I like how you can see the ears. I just like the real, um, just the sculpting detail, the texturing of the whole pla of the plastic of the figure, the way it gives it kind of like that, I don't know how to explain it, but it's kind of like that tougher, you know, almost like animal skin look to it. I like the gold in the eyes. I just think it looks really cool, and especially when you see it in the light, you can see all that texturing detail. Very cool. And he's got the nice cape. Uh, again, it looks like leather or like some type of, you know, tough skin. I really like the gold around the collar. You can kind of see like, it's like claws. Or the rest of the figure, you can see more of that. It's just all, that texturing's all over the whole figure. It's really cool. And then going down here on the gauntlets, it's all, let me see if I can get the camera to focus. There we go. You can kind of see all the little designs on the gauntlets, kind of these different symbols. I think it looks really cool. It's nicely painted, nice gold paint applications. Going along his hands, you can see more of the sculpting detail on the top of the hand. I just like these, you know, gold, you know, kind of like panther claws. I think it looks really cool. And it's all really nicely done. You can see on the inside it's different. I'm on camera. It's more of a darker gold on the inside. And then it gets that sh shimmery gold along with the belt. Really nicely done. This camera can focus. <laughs> see more of the sculpting detail inside the belt. Kind of giving those different kind of tribal, you know, symbols. It looks really nice. And going to rest the figure, it's all that same black texturing. You can see the sculpted details even on the boots. Even though it's all the same color, there's not a lot of detail there. The sculpt is really nice. You can see on the shoes, you can see it's got like the claws on the tips of the two on the tips of the shoes. You can see the claw detail right there coming up the side. Actually, long. Let me see if I get the light right. Come on. I don't know if you guys can see it in the light. Probably it's kind of hard. There we go. You can see like the claws on the tops of the shoes. On the back, you can see where the belt ends. You can see a little peg hole in the back for the flight stand. And the cape's very rubbery, very pliable, so it's easy to move around, manipulate. It's probably, I've seen others take it off. I'm not gonna remove it because I, I like it on them, but. All right, so I'm gonna go into the articulation. So his head moves left and right. Also moves, I don't know if I can get it to go up. There it goes, it looks up, it looks down. It's also got uh, armpit joints. It moves in and out. So it moves out. Got ball joints in the shoulders and forward. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. It's got forearm articulation. Wrist moves down and back. It's also got the Toy Biz individual finger articulation. Very awesome. Uh, it's got a nice ab crunch. Which is forward and back. It's got a waist swivel. It's got ball joints in the legs. Then kick forward, kick to the side. It's got upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. It's got a boot cut. Ankles move up very far, move down. It's got toe articulation, and he's got the old school, old toy biz ankle rocker, and peggles the bottom of the feet. All right, so I'll go and show you guys how tall Black Panther is. All right, so Black Panther stands just under six inches. So nice, you know, nice, nice figure. And here he is next to the Hasbro Rocket Raccoon series uh, Black Panther. So you can kind of see the uh, 
little comparison of the differences. I really like this one. This is the one I have with my current Avengers. <clears throat> Excuse me. But again, this is just an awesome figure. Also great, you know, great Black Panther figures. I'll go ahead and get a little close up for you guys so you can see them up close. So you can see the head sculpts. If my camera would just focus. There we go. See, they both have really cool head sculpts. They're, you know, similar. I really like this one, though. I think this looks really cool. But, you know, you can kind of see the different styles. Definitely a different costume. I feel like this one's actually more similar. Uh, let me grab the comic really quick. It's definitely more similar to the comic on the picture. You can kind of see the lines on the gloves, lines up here. Just more of that black and blue compared to the one that we get in the Toy Biz. But anyway, <laughs> just kind of give you guys a little comparison so you guys can see the difference in the figures. But this one definitely has a lot more sculpting detail, um, more articulation, but this is definitely a new, the newer body mold. It looks great. I love the head sculpt. I really like, I'll, I'll review this one. I don't want to give away everything on it. I'm sure you guys have seen other reviews on it, but, um, but yeah, it's, they're both awesome Black Panthers. I, it's hard for me to choose which one. I've just been liking this costume lately, so I will, I've been like, continue to use this one, but I still really like this figure a lot. But there you go, guys. Um, there's my review on the Marvel Legends Sentinel series, uh, Black Panther. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe if you haven't. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great night.